my watch with a steel spring. Hey guys, Jacques here. So I've added a steel spring to my watch. So let's see some of the changes it brings. Now it works all position on the back, upside down, this way, this way, this way, this way. This little change in the beat, but it's going pretty well. Let's have a look. Quick look. The escapement. Spring is almost to the end, so it has minimum swing, and then I'm going to wind it and compare the timing. So I have my Cuckoo Watch app here, so it's 408 milliseconds per, between ticks. Let's See the swing is getting better. Also, another change uh, with, with that spring, I have better clearance between the top bridge and the balance wheel. So now I can really go any position. But it still keeps working unless I go too fast. And then that's another story. <laughs> so, timing now. It does go a little bit faster. It's like 398 milliseconds. So, in the old days, there was two major positions. They will check the timing. It was like hanging. That's 4.25 and then flat on a table that would be like this. And that's 390, 3.95. Still 3.95 here. Yeah. So it's quite good for a first trial. <laughs> There's a couple of things I still want to change. When I did this spring, I thought, ah, oh, it's easy enough. You can just make a bend so I can hook it up to the balance wheel. And then another bend so it gets fixed to the top bridge. But making those bends just right was not that easy. You can see here the clearance. Swing it. it does touch the top bridge a little bit, so there's some work to do here. <laughs> so I want to, for the spring, I want to improve the way the balance spring gets tied up to the balance wheel. I just have a, an idea right now. While I was walking with my dog. I also want to improve the way the spring is attached to the top 
bridge. Cannot stop it. Oh, that's good. The other thing, I have to hold it. I mean, it really starts well. So, there's all those screws around the balance wheel so I can adjust the timing there. If I unscrew the screws, the moment of rotation increases so it slows down. If I tighten the screw all the way in, it will speed up. So that's one way of adjusting the, the timing. You can put more screws, it will slow down. I might try to put some dry lube on all the harbors here and see if it improved. I would like to try a spring with a little bit smaller wire. Right now I'm um, 0.4 millimeters. I have one here a little bit smaller. 3.6 millimeter. It's a, it's an actual cord for a piano. It's very very springy. <laughs> so this was the anchor I had in in the last video. How that hold to try to balance it. So I did an, uh, a new one, changing the profile. Almost balance. It's a little bit heavy, but this one is screwed up. To put this pin, it went off center. It's leaning a little bit like this. The watch didn't work. It's probably just two tenth of a millimeter off, but was enough not to work. So let's rewind this. I never went all the way. Should be able to go for 12 hours. So I'm going to put this it's four minutes to two. I'm going to put it here and then I'll come back see how long it can run. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.